Hi guys, my name is Umair and you're watching Umair's workshop. Today I'm going to talk about this 500x incubator which I have made. Uh, and the making of this incubator is also on the description and the card. So here I have used this uh, XM18 controller which is controlling all the heaters, uh, humidifier and the tray and the ventilation. And I have these two buttons which one for the light and this one is for the power on off. Over here we have a humidifier which is working like this way. All the humidity is going inside the incubator. Like that. All the humidity is going inside and the fan is sucking all the humidity and throwing it downside. And we have these heaters which are 50 voltage each this one and this one are 50 watt is ceramic heaters and all the heat uh, is going downside and on the downside we have these two heaters they are also working they are also working the same method the air is throwing on the top side from the downside and the both the heat are going on the same value all over the temperature is equal on all the box over here we have the ventilation fan if the overheatage happens or the over humidity happens it will turn on and throw all the air on the back side outside and over here we have these trays which I have uh, placed on the channel I'm gonna plug it out and it will come out like this easily and I can change and check the eggs easily other way it is very difficult to do that I'm gonna place it back and plug it on it will start working on the inside I have used this uh, aluminium sheet which is thick one so all the heat and humidity is insulated which is nice and I have used these uh, wirings which is high quality and I have hired the wires the temperature sensors are over here and it's checking all the humidity and temperature perfectly I have also placed the emergency circuit wirings over here and I will place them after that because these circuits are not reliable it can go bad anytime so secondary heat, uh, secondary controller is also necessary so i have placed the humidifier on the top side if you want to place that inside you have to place it over here on this tray and all the eggs should be after 18 days will be placed over here and you can also place the humidifier over here on the back side and it's gonna suck all the humidity inside of it so it is also a good thing but I prefer to place it on the top side so we can change the uh, fill the water easily so this sheet is called chipboard lamination you can use MDF on the back side if you can see I place the aluminium sheet to cover the fan otherwise the uh, heat and temperature humidity will go out you can see there are small gaps I have uh, placed some tape to make it narrow otherwise it will be not useful all the heat and temperature will go out after that uh, I have used this 4 mm glass you can use any kind of plastic for that because it is very fragile if someone place any kind of force on it it will break so you have to use some kind of eye click for this method or top glass over here you can see there is a small gaps on the door from here all the air is going inside from here all the door have small gap which is enough for the inlet of the uh, fresh oxygen and over here we have the hinges hinges also have some gap but I have closed them with the hot glue 
because we already have a uh, gaps over here so it is good on the other hand I have used these tires so we can move it easily otherwise it is a very difficult thing to move them which is very heavy so we don't really have to do any kind of uh, setting on the XM18 because it is already set from the factory if you do any kind of uh, mistake you have to press these two buttons for uh, five seconds and it will turn it to the factory setting over here it is showing uh, error alarm and we have to close it by pressing the down button because the temperature is low which should be 38 so it is alarming if the temperature goes over 38 or the humidity goes over 60 it will turn on the ventilation fan over there so I have used these ceramic bulbs because they are reliable they don't really uh, get faulty for a very and they are reliable just like that because I have using uh, allergen bulbs and they get fused all the time so that's why I'm using these ceramic bulbs and they make heat much better than halogen bulbs and I have used this LED which is a long one you can use any kind of so if you want to make this kind of incubator manual incubator automatic incubator brooder cages you can search max workshop and you can make your own also uh, the making of this uh, incubator if have been uploaded also the wiring of this xm18 the setting of the xm18 is on is also uploaded so you can see all the trays are working very best so this is a easy method otherwise you have to take out the trays like this one which is also good but uh, not that easy see it is it's some kind stuck you have to place it like that so you can also use this method if you don't want to use the channel because it is easy to use like that way you have to press the down button and it will turn off the alarm so I have the plan to place this STC 3028 on for the emergency setting otherwise uh, we can also use the inverter or UPS system over here because it is using only 200 volt and you have to use the bigger battery for that method so it is a very useful this method is good otherwise uh, I'm using only 200 volt just like now otherwise you have to use 1000 wattage to maintain the heat in this big incubator so if you like this uh, video please like share and subscribe if you have any questions you can write in the comment and i will try to answer them have a nice day bye